Hello everyone, my name is Gloria and I'm a junior at Rutgers University, New Brunswick in New Jersey. And my name is Maximilian. I'm a new transfer student also at Rutgers and this is my first hackathon. We are so excited to demonstrate a Pygame version of Wordle with basic screen reader capabilities. We used the Pygame Wordle clone and made some edits. Wordle is a word guessing game that traditionally relies on colors. By adding a keyboard and a screen reader, we tried to make this game more accessible and make it more playable without having to distinguish between colors. Just like the original Wordle, players aim to guess a five-letter word correctly within six tries. After submitting a guess, letters in the word can be highlighted green, yellow, or gray. Green letters are in the correct position. Yellow letters are in the word to be guessed, but in the wrong position. And gray letters are not in the word. Unfortunately for the New York Times Wordle, it is not that screen reader compatible. As you can see, it is impossible to tell the accuracy of a guess just from using the screen reader, reader, defeating the purpose of the game. O button, T button, F button. You are currently on a button inside of web content to claim. The original Pygame clone we found was fully functioning, allowing players to play multiple rounds, but it didn't come with a keyboard or any audio functions. To access our Wordle, go to the GitHub and download the code. Then open the main Python func file and run. We added the keyboard and made it super easy to turn on audio descriptions simply by right clicking. Here, let's try it out. Screen reader is on. Right click to turn on and off screen reader. The game alerts us that the screen reader A is turned on. D now we have two I options. E we can either type U in the letters using the external keyboard like this or we can go through the letters one on D. the in-game keyboard by clicking. Incorrect. And we, when we U. choose this option, the Misplaced. game will read out the status of the letter. N. Let's submit the guess. Unused. Oops. I. Incorrect. E. Incorrect. Enter. Not in word list. Oops, it's not the word. The audio descriptions let us know that it isn't the word. Great, now we, have, now we know how accurate our guesses have been, making it much easier to play the game without relying on the color schema. Let's try another guess. Unused. Oops, not enough letters. That's Enter. okay, we can fix it. Enter, not enough here. letters. Backspace. Correct. Cry. Correct. 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 Enter. Press R to play again. Yay, we got the word. The game gives us an audio instruction on what to do if we want to play again. What if we want to turn off the audio descriptions? Users can right click again and then the audio descriptions get turned off. Screen reader is off. We do want to make future improvements, however. For example, we manually coded in the audio descriptions using Google Translate. In the future, it would be great to use voiceover APIs and other technology that actually reads words off the screen. In addition, we would love to explore text-to-speech libraries in Python that would make the project smoother. However, we're still proud of what we've accomplished in just one short weekend and can't wait to see where this could go.